think that when you are being brave, you're actually just being you. And I guess in our society that requires bravery because it really takes bravery to step out of the social norm. Now, if you look at the risk of that, it's actually not very risky. What are you risking? You're not risking any of your health. You're still gonna be able to go to the grocery store. You're still gonna be able to have your job. You know, we live in a, in a time of rights. But if we look at the majority of the human life the, of our ancestors, it was about survival. And if you had a hunting tribe and the, the lead hunter who had gotten five or six kills that month and he had fed the whole tribe said, we're gonna go to this draw because that's where the elk are. And you go, nah, I'm gonna go that way. Well, that was probably a pretty dangerous move. I mean, A, that guy was proven, you're going alone, people are probably gonna hesitate to go with you. And so then it might've even been a rational thing. But that part of our brain that was about survival is now about social survival. So now deviating from the social path is literally like risking your life. And brain scans have been done. When you are trying to convince somebody to change their religion, if they're really fundamentally devoted to it, is the same part of the brain that's activated when you're threatening their life. So literally your beliefs are your life.